just an extra bit at the end of the video for you guys. I like coffee. Well, it's actually really handy and it helps me with my uh, keeping my mental capabilities up to scratch. And actually, it, it seems to help a bit with the tremors. Kind of counterintuitive, but it does help. I don't know how it works, but whatever. So I like coffee. I like my coffee kind of strong. Uh, I drink this, which is like number five. It's the strongest you can get. Uh, if I just want a piece of some plain coffee, just a bit of a, a boost. And it's, I, you know, I recommend this. This is actually not a bad coffee for a, a freeze dry coffee. Uh, but I do like a cappuccino. And I have been kind of sold on the Makona cappuccino. I quite like this. Um, you don't get the sprinkles. You don't get that sprinkly stuff in the box. You just get the, the sachets. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's kind of bitter, which is what I like. Um, I can't really taste a lot, so I need a strong coffee just to get the taste. Uh, and it has sort of plenty of caffeine. And it's now even more indulgent, which has got to be great news. Um, I don't know what, what does it say. It's about 100 and... Um, 165, no, 100, I don't know. It's got kilojoules in it. Anyway, so everyone needs kilojoules. Yes, you do. But I thought I'd try this out. Now, this is a sort of generic. It's what they call a select, is it? I don't know, but it's, it's a supermarket generic brand. And my goodness, that looks good, doesn't it? They have this foaming cappuccino. You get a little, you get a little um, shaker with the chocolate in it. So oh, what more could you wish for? And it also has kilojoules. But you see, use a little shaker. Mm -hmm. um, there you go, it's got killer jewels. So I thought, yeah, okay, because this is normal. When, I, when this is on special, I buy this up sometimes about five bucks for a box of 10, which is like 50 cents a drink. That's pretty cheap, cheaper than going down to the local coffee shop. Uh, but this was not on special this week. It was $6 something, which is kind of spendy for someone on a budget. So I thought, I'll go with this. This was four bucks. How bad could it be? Oh dear. This is the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Honestly, I've not tasted anything worse than this. It is, well, I should say taste, I use the word loosely because I couldn't taste a damn thing. Now, okay, I've got Parkinson's. My sense of taste is all but gone, but I can detect some kind of bitterness in this. And this thing here, it's just like, ugh, it's kind of bland. Now, if you are really don't like the taste of coffee, this is the coffee for you because it doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like, I don't know, what would it, talcum powder, I suppose, is probably the best approximation so do not waste your money on the house brand this is from countdown supermarket from new zealand which is also woolworths i think um, do not waste your money on this stuff it is awful it is a waste of four dollars and several minutes of my life i'll never get back in actually trying it so sometimes you've got to try new things but seriously stick to the brand stuff this is just like a million percent better. There you go, that's a coffee review. You don't get those on this channel very often, do you? But yeah, if you'd like more coffee reviews, let me know in the description. Bye for now.